I used an AI agent to apply to 100 jobs without lifting a finger. Is this actually true? I paid $200 to try OpenAI Operator so you don't have to. And in this video, we're going to find out if AI agents can actually apply to jobs on our behalf so we can focus our time on other important work such as interview prep. What exactly is an AI agent? In short, AI agents are the future of the direction that AI is heading into. And in case you don't know, here is a very simple example of what an AI agent is. Think of AI agents as personal assistant on steroids, browsing, reading, emails, filling forms, and even applying to jobs at lightning speed. It's basically an assistant who is actually really, really good. An AI agent is a advanced system that perceives, decides, and acts autonomously to complete tasks. Unlike AI models like GPT, which only generate text, AI agents take action, browsing the web, filling forms, sending emails, and automating workflows. They are the next evolution moving from passive assistant to active decision makers. That's what AI agents are. Still don't get it? Let me give you another example. An AI agent is like a personal assistant who not only gives you advice, but also takes actions. While GPT is like a knowledgeable friend who answers your questions, but doesn't do anything for you. Still don't get it? Let me give you an analogy when it comes to travel planning. Let's say you have access to ChatGPT as well as the operator. On ChatGPT, you can ask what are the best flights to New York. It will give you options, but leave the booking to you. An AI agent will find those options, but will also make the booking for you, put it on your calendar automatically. AI agents don't just suggest, they execute, making them more powerful and efficient. And which is why AI agents are all the hype right now and will continue to be. OpenAI introduced Operator back in January 2025, and I can't believe it took me so long to try it, but it's literally game-changing. It has multi-model capability where it captures your screen, images, and pulls the real-time data, allowing it to read like a dashboards and summaries and pages instantly. For example, I linked my LinkedIn, I linked my LinkedIn on Operator, and it was able to give me headline optimization guidance, how to make my LinkedIn even better, and apply to jobs, which we're going to jump into in just a little bit. OpenAI's operator is an advanced AI interface that expands OpenAI's capability. Here is what makes it unique. It has screen capture capability, it takes images of your screen, allowing it to see and process visual data in real time. It has integrated browser that navigates websites and extracts information and verifies information on the fly. And then it has task automation capability. It fills out forms, copies, and paste data, and even applies to job. Yes, over 100 at once, but I don't know if this is true. It does come with a hefty price tag of $200 per month. And I'm going to share my thoughts if it's actually worth it, $200 per month, and if I'm going to keep my membership. So instead of me talking, let's actually show you what OpenAI's operator looks like. The use case that I have today is I'm going to use LinkedIn Glassdoor Indeed and ask OpenAI's operator to apply to these jobs. The jobs that I'm going to be focusing on is data analyst entry-level jobs. So I have a ton of options to choose from. This is what the ChatGPT operator looks like. It's very similar to how it looks, the ChatGPT, general ChatGPT. But where it gets different is where the operator capabilities are. But before I actually ask it to do anything, I did some homework and I created a smart prompting guide. Uh, I'm calling it Crafty. Um, so I'm providing it context, rule, action, format, tracking, reporting, target audience, and independence. Basically, just to give you a quick overview in terms of what that means, uh, it means like I'm telling it what exactly the type of jobs that I'm looking for. I wanted to focus on LinkedIn Easy Apply feature because if the Easy Apply is not available, then you have to go to company's website and then log in, create an account, and then apply. So the AI agent operator is not there yet, so I'm only focusing on Easy Apply just to keep things simple. And I'm also telling it I'm over 18 years old. I identify as this, 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 salary. One thing that I need to tell it for years of experience enter 10 years and then I give it permissions and then I tell it what its role is. It's a smart AI agent, tell it what the action is, the format, I wanted to keep a log of all the applications and then tracking and reporting uh, and then target audience. Who is the target audience for this specific um, smart uh, prompt? It's operator and then independence. There are certain times it gets stuck. 
but I wanted to like continue applying to it. in the real world scenario. I mean, if I'm like actually really, really serious, I will not tell it to be independent, that independent. But the reason I'm doing this is for the demo purposes. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going, I have already like logged in my LinkedIn account. I've tested, I've like optimized, tried optimizing my LinkedIn so it, it does a wonderful job. I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to hit enter. So once I hit enter, now it's actually going to start doing the magic uh, where it's, I'm going to make it bigger, where it's going to like go to LinkedIn. As you can see, like it, my hands are here. It has completely taken over the control. First of all, I don't know why it goes to Microsoft thing. Something to do with Microsoft OpenAI partnership. Uh, but anyways, it goes to a search tool, Microsoft Bing, and then it goes to LinkedIn from there that I've logged in. So now it's going to go to the jobs tab and it's going to start searching and applying to jobs. Okay, while it's looking for jobs, let me actually tell you that AI agents are going to be only as good as, as your AI prompting skills. So if you're trying to work on your prompting skills and level up, then check out this AI prompt engineering quick start guide developed by HubSpot, which is available for free. The guide teaches you framework and walks you through bad, good, and excellent AI prompt examples. For example, let's say you want to learn Python. This is what a bad example looks like. This is what a good prompt looks like. And this is what an excellent prompt looks like. There are many other examples like this in the guide, which you can download in the description below. Thanks to HubSpot for creating this guide and sponsoring this portion of the video. Now let's check on our operator and see if it has completed the job search. As you can see, it has already filtered. As I said, I have already my um, resume here. So it, it's picking that up. So now it's asking me permission if if it has my permission to apply. I'm gonna hit confirm just for you all. I'm not looking for a new job. I'm, I can't even move. I am gonna live in Seattle. I don't know where we go till, I die, till the day I die, but I'm putting it there. And yes, please proceed. Let's see if it does it. And oh my God, I think it just submitted. That is so freaking cool. Okay, so it applied to a job at Discover International. I don't even know what that is. Uh, and where was it? Is there sort of more jobs? So, okay, so I guess like the Seattle comment doesn't apply. Now it's going to the next job and it's going to see if it's going to apply. So it's an AI product manager job. Even though I didn't ask it to apply to AI product manager job, it is doing it. So, okay. And let's see if it's going to ask me any more questions. 10? <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is where I'm going to like, uh, take control. Anyways, I'm going to stop this here. And, uh, this was the quick demo in terms of like how chat GPT's operator is able to apply to jobs on LinkedIn. I have tried it on indeed and Glassdoor, but honestly, like LinkedIn easy apply has been the most seamless experience using operator. So as you can see, like it's not there yet. The verdict. So did the AI agent chat GPT operator apply to 100 jobs without me lifting a finger? No, not 100 and actually not even one. But this is actually the direction the AI agents are heading into. Maybe from one year from now, we will be in a position where all of us will be applying to jobs without lifting a finger. And honestly, I cannot wait for that. But as of today, is operator, chat GPT's operator, OpenAI's operator worth $200? No. It requires a lot of intervention. It requires for me to like take control. It's not there yet. So I don't think it's worth $200 price tag. Uh, and yes, I will be canceling my membership for the next month. So what is the limitation of the AI agents? As you've seen in the demo, there are accuracy issues. It struggles with complex visual. It struggles with copy pasting errors. Errors, for example, works well on LinkedIn, but has trouble with some other website. It has latency processing large amount of data as you saw that it took forever to actually execute the task and load the websites the browser is also very slow the internet is slow and obviously there are privacy concerns because you're giving it sensitive data and there are limited customization because ai agents are still in early stages but down the road when apis are available and we're in the advanced stages of ai agents tons of possibilities are there and i'm excited to see what's Next. Now, the question for you all is, is the AI agents game changing technology or is it just uh, another experiment? Let me know your thoughts and what are some other creative ideas that you have that you can use with AI agents? 
Personally, I've tried like optimizing my LinkedIn headlines, optimizing my website for SEO, optimizing my course for SEO using operator. I was able to do actually a really, really good job. And I can't wait to see the future updates that they make to operator and other AI agents model to see what else is possible. All right, let me know in comments your thoughts and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.